WTSM 9 News is your local election headquarters. The two candidates in the runoff election for the District 2 City Council seat taking part in a debate tonight in front of their constituents. So the debate is taking place in Central El Paso, focused on a set of topics as Election Day is still a few days away. KTSM 9 News reporter Jesus Baltasar brings us the highlights of that debate. Veronica Carvajal and Josh Acevedo took the stage at Grandview Park Senior Center to debate a range of issues concerning District 2 as they vie for that city council seat. We hear from both local residents and from the candidates themselves. So that is what I bring. I bring the ability to look at the law and also mobilize, um, and more importantly than that, listen to the community to see that, that you know how I can support what it is that they want. I have been a public servant my entire professional career. I have worked um, at the federal level in, on Capitol Hill as an intern. I have worked at the county of El Paso. where So I have the experience professionally, of course, at the school district. Each with distinct backgrounds, Josh Acevedo is an El Paso Independent School District trustee and education consultant. Veronica Carvajal, a lawyer and a community activist. District 2 community members looking to get a better understanding on how the candidates would make good on their campaign promises. What I'm looking for from each candidate is, are they going to do their job or is it just talk, talk, talk? The other things I'm looking for is uh, what they feel the city, specifically this district and the city as a whole, uh, the major issues are that need to be addressed. An issue often brought up by both residents and the candidates is a need to renew the aging neighborhoods. We are a um, military city, and for people to arrive here and to see that it's neglected, especially in historical places, um, many people will not want to uh, retire. But if it's beautified, we will probably have more people staying here permanently. You know, especially our streets, by where I live, they have not been paved since the 70s. The 70s, and we're in the 2024, they need to be paved. The winner of the election will serve for the remainder of Alexandra Anello's unexpired term. Both candidates also stressed the importance of selecting a new city manager. Dozens of community members showed up for tonight's debate, a concern being last month only a few percent of voters actually showed up to cast their vote. Both candidates urging the community to turn out in order to make changes. Reporting from Central El Paso, Jesus Baltasar, KTSM 9 News.